Hey guys, Magic here. Pretty much just going to be giving you a demo of a Wilderness Survival map. Um, I am going to try to recreate a Wilderness Survival for StarCraft 2. And I just want to make a demo video of a couple Wilderness Survivals for Warcraft 3. You know, just to show people what it looks like. Um, I guess it's mainly for the members who really want to uh, get to know the, the genre. I mean, because some people just don't quite understand what it means exactly. Um, so I do want to go over a few things. So let's get into game. Um, hopefully this isn't going to uh, be strange at all. So uh, last time I tried to record a video it was like flickering and like stuff like that. I don't want to, I don't want to deal with it. Anyways, this is Cole Griffin 3's Wilderness Survival and that's actually a modified version that's for teams. He did not create this version himself. Um, and people, that's just because people didn't like the free-for-all mode that he proposed. You know, people like teams, other people like free-for-all. I was pers personally into the free-for-all because it was just like running around, kill, you know, try to kill everyone. And it was just like, I don't know, it was a good dynamic. There's a lot of things that could happen. There's a lot of strategy involved. Uh, so anyways, let's remove that overlay. All right, so now we're picking our difficulty. Our difficulty, I'm going to set to, let's just set it to easy. Uh, mainly I'm choosing easy just because then there's a lot more that you pick up that allow you to just build stuff faster and for a demo that's pretty important. Alright, so we pretty much start out as a dude wandering the wilderness. Uh, this doesn't really mean all that much. Whoops, I did not mean to pick that back up. Alright, so you have your hit points and your energy. Your hit points represents like your health. I mean, that's pretty much what hit points normally are, but in this game, your hit points slowly degrade, which is due to hunger. You want to eat every now and then so that you just regenerate hit points and it's, you know, another thing is when you get into a battle you can uh, eat something and, you know, heal some hit points during a battle or after a battle or whatever. Oh, here's a raccoon. He's trying to get some something off me. These guys are actually deadly deadly raccoons. They're uh, really annoying to deal with because they attack you, you attack them and then they just run away and then they come back and it's just like all this waste of time. They're not doing like picking up stuff, so it's it's quite annoying. Um, now in this game, you can actually eat the meat raw for 15 health. Um, if I have that in my map, I do want to have it so that you like it's sick or something. You move slower or something like that if you eat it raw. Um, but it still has the same nutritional value. In this one, it's more like the raw stuff just gives you less health. So I'm just gonna eat this, so I just don't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> it's kind of a nice thing about this map. You just kind of eat, you know, like you can just eat stuff like that and not worry about it. Um, you know, you don't have to worry about wasting it because you're still kind of eating it, you know. And um, so, anyways, I'm gonna be looking for my first uh, building here that's really necessary on this map. It's actually the only building required for survival on this map, and that building is the fire. Now, on most typical wilderness survival maps, you need to have shelter. You need to build a rest. In this map, you do not need to sleep at all, ever. So, um, you don't have to worry about it. This map is strictly just the fire thing, the energy. This will slowly degrade. And um, actually, on this map, if the energy degrades, you go into like a coma. And you. Or wait, maybe it does kill. Or no. Oh, 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 sorry. This is energy. I'm, I mean, this is, uh, this is warmth. This, this energy here is your warmth, not energy. I was thinking of other maps. Usually, there's energy there that you sleep and you, uh, you know refill that energy and then you can go on and then then you go into a coma and whatnot but on this map you do not so we don't have to worry about it um this is warmth if you run out of warmth you just die you freeze to death and you just die so you don't want to have no energy pretty much no energy no health equals death on this map so anyways i do have my stuff fire i have a stick moss and sulfate crystal now the idea is on this map is you use the crystal with the sun to magnify it and create a fire on the moss and then light the stick with it so you got the fire um, the one thing I don't like is the fact that these items are items this fire is an item I'm running around with fire in my pocket um, I don't really like that I want to make it so that you if you click make you have the fire right in front of you. So if you run, want to run around the fire, you have to carry the stuff with you. Um, and the other thing I want to mention, uh, oh, for making a fire, I do want some kind of like crystal technique like this. 
Uh, that also requires daylight. In this map, you cannot make a fire at night at all. But, but in mine, I want to have it so that you can do this kind of method during the day, but if you don't, you know, it's during the night, you can still make a fire. It's just going to be a lot harder using, like, sticks or something. You rub sticks together or whatever. It just has, like, a great chance of not working, that type of thing. So, um, anyways, I'm going to be placing this fire in just a second. So, let's just put it down right there. All right, cool. Now we got our fire going. Uh, we do have to worry about our hit points a little bit. And uh, since this is on easy, your energy depletes very slowly. So, you actually get a lot from a fire. And at night it actually depletes even faster. You got a little deep buff here, or uh, where is it? Uh, cold. It's cold during the night. That makes your energy go down faster. Um, same kind of thing on the map I'm proposing. Same kind of thing where your energy goes down faster during the nights. That just makes, or I'm <laughs> sorry, not energy, warmth. Your warmth goes down faster during the night. Um, so I do want to have that kind of thing. But um, on this map, if it's on hard difficulty, your energy will, like, will still go down at night by a fire. <laughs> it's like ridiculous. But uh, I don't know. There's a lot of little things like that I'm not going to discuss too much. Um, let's see. I don't have to worry about a shelter because this map doesn't use sleep. You can build, build the shelter but it's just pretty much for storing stuff. You don't really need it. Um, so let's actually find some animals to kill. We need some food in our stomachs so let's find that. Uh, there he is. Now on this map you can just pick up stuff on the terrain, like a vine, stick, whatever, and you can actually just use these items. Like, I mean, these sticks, they give two damage, which means you get two damage here, which is actually a lot on this map, just for the record. Um, you can use vines. Um, no, I just, these are items I just picked up. Vines let you entangle stuff, so you can attack them for like a second, and then you, you know, stuff like that. And then you have rocks. You can throw rocks at stuff, stun them, do a little bit of damage, and thus kill stuff a little bit easier instead of running after them, stuff like that. Now, since this is normally a player against player map, I actually modified it so I could play it. Um, you know, you can just go out and kill your opponent. And I think that's awesome. You know, the fact that you can just pick up sticks, some rocks, and vines, and go out to kill your opponent. Now, it's not the easiest thing to do. Now, if your opponent is smart, he'll pick up some rocks and stuff of his own and attack you back and you're just gonna have a lot of trouble so um, you know if it's a good player against a good player that's not gonna work very well if it's a bad player against a bad player they're not gonna pick up the rocks and things to kill each other with so it's really not an issue there either so it really if it's equal skill levels you're not gonna have to worry about oops I'm gonna die in just a moment if I don't get back to my fire gotta get back to my fire I have very low form right now I just noticed this thing grayed out which is sprints, uh, requires energy to use. So I need to get back there. All right, so cool. I'm actually getting back here in time. Um, but as I say, oh yeah, okay. So you can try to kill your opponent early on using the natural stuff around you. I want that same kind of dynamic in my version. Um, you know, just being able to like run around and kill someone with like basic stuff. Um, and then if you wanted to, you could tech up, get some spears. You could um, get some spears, some armor, something like that. Um, maybe some boots to run a little faster, type of thing, you know, so you can kind of have the edge on your opponent. Because if your opponent's coming all the way across the map to kill you, you're going to have time to like, build stuff like that. So, I mean, basically by the time he gets there, you're going to have some kind of advantage, some kind of defensive advantage, like being able to build stuff like that. Now, if you're not very good, obviously you won't have that advantage and you'll just die. So, I mean, there's. I mean, that's. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to say here, I'm trying to base it off of how StarCraft is in a way where um, you have an advantage defending early on. You know, for example, if um, your opponent goes for a four gate and attacks you, or I guess that's that example. Let's say your opponent goes for, um, let's see, like a, a six pool, you know, it comes and attacks you with six zerglings. Now, you have the advantage being the defender. You can, you know, by the time he gets there, you'll probably have either a Zealot out or a Marine or, as, you know, some Zerglings of your own, and you can use your drones and defend like that. So, the defending player always has the advantage, and if that doesn't work for the offensive player, then he pretty much loses after that. So, I do want that same kind of dynamic going on. And then, of course, you can go into, like, the mid-game, have, like, a four gate, something like that, um, you know, or two base all-in type of thing, and then, um, you know, um, a player could just lose then 
And then I want, you know, to have it even further, you know, just like in StarCraft. Um, like here, I guess this, the second phase or the mid game would be like spears and armor, stuff like that. And then after that would be guns and explosives and higher up armor and stuff like that. So, um, same kind of thing as StarCraft. You know, StarCraft, there's, you know, game goes on, you get three or four bases, you've got like a bigger army. And if you're better at macroing than your opponent, then you're just going to win because you have more stuff. So I do want that kind of same kind of gameplay where it's like you can kill your opponent early on um, or you can wait and try to out macro him or you can wait even longer and draw it into an even bigger fight. So um, there's a lot that I want to do strategic wise. Oops, I made an axe. Well, with an axe you can cut down wood. That's nice. And it gives you plus 5 damage. So yeah, this is kind of like in steps. Like you got your basic stuff you can find. Uh, if you find a bunch of stuff you can make an axe. Alright, so say you get an axe, your opponent can still defend against it, he's just rocks. If he's good, he can just throw rocks at you after rocks at you after ro rocks at you. And then you're not going to be able to get the kill, so you maybe you want to tech up, use something else, and that's really what I think is extremely important in this kind of game, or in any kind of game, really, just to have that kind of dynamic. Alright, so enough about that rant. Um, let's continue on showing you about this map. Alright, so now I just gave a stick to this fire. This fire is slowly losing hit points, which pretty much just means it burns out. Makes sense, right? So you want to feed the fire, so you feed it a stick, it gets some hit points. Very nice, eh? Um, now the only thing about that is, your fire can just pick up stuff, so like if there's a stick nearby, you can just pick it up and feed it. You can, it's a self-feeding fire type of thing. Or if you have some uncooked meat around it, you can do the same thing and cook it. So um, I don't want to hurt that rabbit, by the way. I'm going to hurt someone else instead. So let's get some meat. Um, I'll show you what we can do with the rabbit. Actually, let's use this rabbit now that he's there. So I got two vines. We're going to combine them, make the nets. And we're going to hook this rabbit. And you can tame him. Now this rabbit is excellent at recon, excellent at carrying a single item. If you have like a slot full of like weapons, you can have a rabbit and just like have an extra little thing there. You know, it's kind of nice. And then, of course, if your opponent kills that rabbit, then he gets that item, and then, you know, there's a fun dynamic there as well. So, I mean, there's a lot to this map like that that's just awesome. Um, but, yeah, what are we looking for? I guess we could look for... We can make a spear. Let's make a spear. Spears are fun. They're my probably my favorite weapon to use on this map. So, uh, there we go, spear. Pretty much, I combined a... Well, actually, first I combined two sticks to make a big stick, quote-unquote. That's pretty much just the conserved slot space. Um, so I had a big stick, 